This is Dr. William Coleman with the Greenville Health System Department of OBGYN Division of Gynecology, and this is Pearlcast uh, today on abnormal uterine bleeding. Um, I did a previous Pearlcast on normal menstruation and some older terminology uh, that we have always used uh, for abnormal uterine bleeding, and today we're going to talk about uh, the new terminology um, that we use, um, but first let me go back over the older terminology. Um, some terms that have been used uh, for decades and um, are still used by some physicians uh, are uh, oligomenorrhea, which means a cycle length greater than 35 days from the start of one period to the start of another. Uh, polymenorrhea a cycle length less than 21 days or 24 days depending on which definition you're going to use. Menorrhagia which is a period that lasts in duration greater than seven days or with a blood loss of greater than or equal to 80 cc's of blood. Then metro raja which means irregular bleeding or intermenstrual bleeding, meaning bleeding between periods. And then menometrorrhagia, or metromenorrhagia, which are terms for heavy or prolonged irregular bleeding. So that's the old terminology. Uh, in 2011 the International Federation of Gynecology and Obstetrics, FIGO, recommended a new terminology uh, to hopefully uh, be more specific about the causes of abnormal uterine bleeding. So they came up with the term POM Cohen. For this new terminology. And they hope that uh, as physicians use this new terminology it will be more descriptive and uh, help in identifying actual the actual cause of abnormal bleeding. So we'll go over the terminology and an easy way to try to remember this is just think of a coin of any type uh, in your palm. Uh, the first letter P stands for polyp. And polyps are a common cause of abnormal bleeding. So AUB, abnormal uterine bleeding, P, would imply that the cause of the abnormal bleeding may be a polyp. The next letter, A, stands for 
adenomyosis. Adenomyosis uh, is a term uh, that refers to endometrial glands that invade into the myometrium, uh, sometimes called internal endometriosis. Um, it's usually diagnosed either by ultrasound or MRI, uh, usually confirmed by hysterectomy. Uh, so AUB, abnormal uterine bleeding, A would imply bleeding due to suspected adenomyosis. The L in palm Cohen is for lao myomata or what are commonly called fibroids or myomas. Fibroids are a common cause of abnormal bleeding and you look at a uterus and the uterine cavity. There are several different types of fibroids. They can be subserosal, meaning more towards the outside of the uterus. They can be intramural, meaning within the wall, and they can be submucosal, uh, meaning they uh, are close to or enter the uterine cavity and it's uh, these submucosal fibroids that more commonly cause abnormal bleeding. So that would be AUB L. The M is malignancy and hyperplasia. Hyperplasia uh, being considered a pre-malignant -mal condition. So if malignancy or hyperplasia are the cause, then it would be designated AUB M. The C in palm coin means coagulopathy. And coagulopathy is especially important in adolescents with abnormal uterine bleeding uh, and can be found in up to 30 to 50 percent of adolescents with abnormal bleeding, uh, much less common uh, as women get into uh, later decades of their life. So AUBC would refer to coagulopathy as a cause. O refers to ovulatory dysfunction. And one of the most common causes of abnormal bleeding is anovulation. Uh, so, AUB O refers to dysfunctions of ovulation, most commonly anovulation. E refers to endometrium. And this does not usually refer to endometrial polyps or endometritis, but instead uh, refers to all of the uh, things that um, cause normal menstruation, 
uh, or are related to normal uh, menstruation, and that includes uh, prostaglandins, specifically uh, prostaglandin E2, F2 alpha, and prostacyclin. But also uh, refers to other uh, chemicals uh, especially endothelin 1, but normal menstruation also involves um, uh, fibrinolysis, uh, it involves cytokines and uh, a lot of other very complex uh, chemicals and hormones and functions uh, that relate to normal menstruation, so uh, any defects in these types of things can cause abnormal menstruation. So, AUB E refers to endometrium. The I in palm coin refers to iatro. Genic. There are a lot of things that we do as physicians uh, that can actually cause abnormal bleeding. One of the most common is any type of hormonal therapy, uh, both contraception with combination of oral contraceptives, patches, or rings, uh, progestin only oral contraceptives, usually referred to as the mini pill, uh, Depo-Provera, another contraceptive that can cause abnormal bleeding, and IUDs or as the progestin IUD is called, an intrauterine system. Uh, so any of these things can cause abnormal bleeding. In women on uh, hormonal replacement therapy, as we commonly call it HT, or some people call it EPT, or estrogen progestin therapy if the woman has a uterus, but that will also sometimes cause abnormal bleeding. So AUBI means iatrogenic. Uh, also, obviously, any patient on a uh, uh, blood thinner uh, or anything that affects uh, coagulation uh, may cause this. The N in palm coin means not yet classified. So these are less common uh, causes uh, such as endometritis, or arteriovenous malformations. So this again is your palm Cohen
classification, Dr. William Coleman, Greenville Health System.